All right, which, hold on, is this thing started? Oh, it did start, what the, why is it right there? Okay, whatever, guys. All right, so, <clears throat> listen, this is a tip and trick video about how you, as a player, can get good. And first off, I thought I was using Mopies, and I guess I'm using AZ Stream Recorder. I guess that's fine enough, I guess. Because it doesn't have, it, so you don't see AZ, uh, the logo right there at the top right. You know how you keep the pause the video stuff. So you can only see if I scroll it down. <clears throat> Anyhow, so when you're starting off as a new player, you need, you need to know these tips and tricks so you can actually keep playing this game. Because you don't know how many players I know. I think I still got them friended. I think I removed them. Yeah, I probably removed them already. I had some noobs friended since from when I was a noob. And they stopped playing because, for one, they got they just sucked. And two, uh, wait, why did my attack drop? Did my disciple disguise run out? Oh, it sure did run out. Dang. All right, so anyhow, first off, guys, you want to keep your gems. I pretty much forgot what I was saying earlier, so I'm just going to flip it. You, uh, you have to keep your gems. You start off with 20 gems as a noob. You start off with exactly 20. And you need to learn how to keep and ho keep holding on to those gems until you get enough uh, enough gems to buy your skills. So first off, when you start off, pick a good name without no numbers because the names without numbers will always get remembered by players that you meet and got wrong. And they will be more inclined to help you. But if you're a number like Jim 58 million, they're probably not going to remember you. Alright, so when you start off, you have to go home. Alright? It's going to ask you to go this way. From a human perspective, they're going to make you go home. You're going to have to uh, talk to Gohan inside of this thing. His name is Gohan, but you know what I'm saying. You have to go in there. You have to talk to him. He's going to be like, yo, go in this chest. Pick the radar. You have to equip the radar. Well, you can't equip it because you're 100 power. And then you have to go out here and fight these dummy things fight these things blah 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 you beat them things up they have to go get chicken legs and then bring it back and he'll be like all right now go to the meteor a cliff this is all from head cannon i remember this because i created like six characters already you go you save the boy you run away you come back all right so when you're running away you'll be able to go to Rene obaba and you'll be able to get a random intellect charm for one hour Get that hopefully you get intellect charm and if you don't the best for you at a, as a starting player is to get intellect immortal above those two right there are the best for you starting off because right afterwards you're gonna give you're gonna go here you're gonna get your skill and then you're gonna have to fight mother pigs right afterwards so you have to go way over here and fight these uh what you call us where are they at they're probably over here it looked like this you have to fight three on each planet these mother dinosaurs they're pretty easy to fight oh finally i got daily gems i don't know why i wasn't getting them forever ago you finally get those but whatever skip we're going to do a time skip we're going to time skip all the way to where you're like one million now you kept playing you finally broke the one million barricade and stuff like that and you probably you reach guard level pretty much. Guard level is like one. Guard level is like six hundred thousand or something like that. I forgot. Let me check. Guard level. Oh no, super Namekian level. You reach one point five million. You finally got there because all you have to do realistically is don't. Whenever you die, just go right back home because you won't lose any power from just dying. You will just die. All right. So you just go back go back you get more sister beans you get the chicken when you go back you complete your mission you want to hold on to those gems all the way up until you're 1.5 million because at 1.5 million you will be gifted 200 gems and then you'll get gifted you'll probably you'll probably beat this quest too. use your skill 2,000 times you'll get that so easily I'm at 15,200 already and I remember I got past 2,000 like, I don't know, the first week of playing. I don't know how I, I don't have like 100,000 or whatnot. Flying is so easy. You probably won't fly that often though because you don't have a, 
uh, board, or something like that. All right, so basically, hard work and farmer, you won't have that yet, but join guard, guard, I think you get 50 gems for doing this. So you'll probably get 50 gems, 200 gems, uh, selling items, you'll sell a bunch of items from the things you'll kill, and they'll drop stuff. And then this right here, super monsters, I'm not sure you can get super monsters at your level, but you'll get that also. And then using your master skill, you'll get that also. So you really have like 300 gems as a new player. Use, keep those gems because you want to use it to upgrade or get your summon, your great ape, or your spirit bomb. You don't want to upgrade any of these other skills. You don't know how many players starting off made the mistake of upgrading your demon punches and Mazinko, the rest secure. You'll get books from the quest. The books you get will come from the quest, guys. Like, I think somewhere at, at Kami, Kami gives you books once you get up to his level. He'll give you, like, books after certain, like, I think Seda Boars, or Seda Pigs, or whatnot. They have, like, 3,000, 6,000 HP. You kill, like, three of those guys. He'll end up giving you, like, Kami Mea Mea, level one, or something like that. Level two, something like that. He'll give you that. And pretty much, and pretty much you'll be set. And he'll keep giving you books all the way to like level three, level four. And then you want to use your power potential that you earn in the future to get it higher. You don't want to use gems on those things. Trust and believe. There's no point in doing that. Once you have all your gems, you want to go to Euron. And you want to get your great ape or whatever. Your special book, go to special. You want to get one of these things, one of your great apes, your power rescue, not your rescue, you don't want to spend that on a rescue, but you get that as a skill. Your summon, your great ape, your spirit bomb, now I'm not sure for humans, spirit bomb is not really used that day often, but for Namekians and Saiyans, summons and great apes. You, get, you want to get your great ape to like level 2, level 3, something around that area. Or if you really want to save your VC, not VC, but your uh, gems, and you just want to use it for training, then the best way to do it is just use your gems on satellites and charms. Satellites come from Euron, your charms come from Eurobiot, the girl that I met in the beginning. You want to use it on those, alright? Now, up to 150 million, we're going to run all the way down to Kami Island. Up to 150 million, you can use. All right, Ash, before we get to that point, by this time, I'm hoping you guys found a good clan. It's kind of hard to find good people on this game to actually play very often, but you'll, you'll meet some news like this guy right here. He probably can talk. You'll probably meet him and be like, hey, dude, you want to get into a clan? Oh, yeah, for real, dude, let's do it. What the heck is going on here? All right. And do y'all get to a clan? Then you can do guard. The guard runs are good. Because you get a lot of potential points, you get Dragon Balls to sell, all that good stuff. And there's also, I'm gonna release another video on gold methods as a noob. Pretty much everything is coming from a noob and just starting off at some type of point. So we're gonna go all the way down over here. Trunks should be in just one area. I don't know why he always moves around. But you see this, you start off over here, you go to, I think, Guren Baba, Dead or Alive Tournament. You'll get, you'll get rewards for doing this right here. Up, up into 150 million, should say it. Yep, 100K to 150 million. You'll end up facing players like Fang and stuff like that. You probably can't see him, but if you know what the disguise look like, I'll just go back to Comic House and just show you what the disguise look like. That's the guy you're gonna be fighting in this tournament. You'll end up fighting Fang. He looks just like this. Uh, shop. Scroll down. Uh, fang, fang, fang. Why can I not scroll down? Okay, here we go. Here we go. You're in a fight and people are like, where is he? Why can I not scroll down? Here we go, Fang. You're in a face and people are like, Fang, this is what Fang looks like. And I forgot the other levels because I only 
played that thing like so long ago. But you'll get rewards like gems, maybe gold, stuff like that that will go a long way and you want to keep it going. Now getting gold as a noob, I'm kind of going to spoil it ahead but being getting gold as a noob is fighting thieves and uh, pretty much taking gold from dead bodies. That's how you want to really start off as a noob. And then secondly, for you, the best thing you want to do past 2 million, once you have your gems, once you get all this stuff past 2 million, your quest is going to get a lot harder and you'll get into quests that sucks, like the tournament quest. I don't know why they match you up with literal gods in a tournament, but they will match you up with no gods. Like, you'll match up with me. Like, I'll be in the tournament fighting noobs the entire time. Some of the time they do the public tournaments, which sometimes you have to do because your time zone might be off. So you're gonna come way over here. We're gonna tell you the perfect, perfect uh, tournament to pick. Because some people fall into the wrong, like this right here, you see those guys with black flags? Stuff like this is where you want to be. Because you might get lucky and they will drop gold from killing each other. You can literally get like 20,000. What's this? The fleet ghost? Okay, whatever. All right, so you go to the janitor. He'll be like, yo, do you want to register for a tournament? Oh, sure. Uh, Warp Marsh is 20. Wait, wait, is this not it? Wait, did he change it? What the heck? No, I want to go back to Marsh Watch Arena. Wait, is it different or something? Or am I tripping? Okay, so the next arena is in eight, uh, eight, eight hours. So look at this. All right, so this right here, guys, for you guys, you have to join the child arena or the superior arena. This one right here, the child arena is probably at six o'clock. The other one is at like two o'clock. And this one is at like six. I think, wait, is this both at six o'clock? Wait, is this in military time? I'm not sure. But just look at a time, do your conversion or whatever. You won't be able to be in child or superior arena. Being in premier arenas, you're gonna face gods at crazy amounts of levels, all right? And they're probably gonna smack you, more than likely, unless they throw the game for you. But most people are not gonna do it. So here are the rewards for this arena. Two gems, four gems, six gems, eight gems. If you are around one million, or if you have the perfect sweet spot at 1.2 million, you'll be able to do child and superior. So you can, you can be in both arenas and get six gems a day, plus your daily gems, which is eight gems. So if you do that a day, you get like, by the end of your, at the end of the week, you'll have like 56 gems. So like, that's just another gem method of how to do things when you're growing up. Cause you have to do things like everybody's guys at this level, so you're not gonna get that much help. So you have to look out for yourself. Like that's why I try to like uh, help players out. What? Oh, this sounds coming from Piccolo. Where's Piccolo at? Oh, I can fight Piccolo. Oh snap, or right, this could be another video about fighting Piccolo, guys. I guess this is a video about fighting Piccolo, if he ever spawns. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. So, is this quest broken? Was I supposed to use this quest? Was I supposed to do this quest? Alright, so whatever, guys. So, like I was saying, I'm not even sure if I can escape this area. I think I'm stuck here because uh, I accepted that quest and he's not gonna spawn anywhere. So I guess I'm just fighting these guys with my my armor on. As I was saying, once you guys do that 56 gems a week, oh, here he is. Here's Piccolo. Take this thing off. Time to respawn. I don't even need to take off my, my stuff. 
defeat him? Why is he telling me? Why is he saying defeat him? Defeat Yajirobe? I don't know what. I'm gonna just destroy this guy. He's not gonna really do much, anything. I guess I'll just beat this guy up. I guess this is the guy I'm supposed to defeat. I don't see Piccolo anywhere except for Kami Piccolo. I'm just waiting forever for this dude to spawn in. Let me make sure I get the best reward from this. I don't know. Put this on my disciple. And then, guys, another thing. I'm waiting for this guy to spawn. I'm asking waiting for this guy to spawn. You want to, after you get up to that level, you might get lucky. Your chance of getting the sun is super low because you won't be strong enough to get the last hit. But if you do, you want to train your sun at that point. If you're 1.2 million, your sun is pretty much going to be like super. Your sun is probably going to be at like default 50,000. You'll be able to train him, but you want to get your son to your level. And pretty much when you guys fuse, you're just going to be super overpowered. And at that point, you and your son can literally train together. It's going to be awesome. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, he ain't, he ain't no joke. What the heck? I thought this guy was weak. Something is wrong. What's wrong? He has Kamehameha Blast? Look at me. No. Oh, what? Well, he killed me. Alright, just take me home, Yajirobe. I don't know why I was silent for a second, guys. I got too caught up with what was going on. Are you going to take me home? Thank you, Seth. Alright, what, what am I supposed to do here? Calm down, listen, you're not strong enough to defeat him. Okay, take this. It can help. Shao Sensu Teapot. You receive a Shao Sensu Teapot. Alright, so now I'm gonna use the teapot. I guess I'm doing all this on what you call it. Use for a chance to boost 5 million power and potential. Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do in my next video. I'm gonna drop this teapot on the ground to use for my son. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do is just be super overpowered. Power required to use is what? Is that 100? No, never mind. I can't even use it if I wanna do so my son. That sucks. Wow. They really did us like that. Anyhow, guys, this is part one of it. This is also fight Piccolo. I'm going to add some music in the background because I do get silent at some point. Hope you guys enjoy this thing. Peace. Scroll this thing down because I don't know why I decided to do this. Stop.